Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Wards and Wardens. Today we need to finish up this war with the Kazaria. Kazaria? <laughs> oh, it looks like we have supply issues at the moment as well. Now I remember last episode we took a pause here to resupply. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to march towards their capital. I think we're also gaining war score as well. So the war could even end before we make it there. What's this? Demand artifact. To my lead, you have something that should legitimately belong to me. Well, increase it at once. You are my cousin, and you want the fine master of game. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we're going to decline that one. Get out of here with your nonsense. Are we on organized army? We are. Hmm, we're still losing a little bit of gold. We're going to have to invest in our infrastructure and whatnot as well. But first, we need to deal with this war. Yeah, we're losing supplies now. Okay, so we only have room for 1,700 supplies here. Is there someone better? 1800? I don't think there is. I think everywhere is kind of crap for supplies over here. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's 2800 over here. Why don't we go over here to resupply? Although we're probably going to have to fight these raiders. And then when we're ready, we could go and siege the capital and we're good. To be fair, I think the war's going to end before that. My court grand draw is now at level zero. Oh dear. What kind of debuffs am I getting for this at the moment? This court is one level below its expected court grand draw level, causing the following effect. Prestige minus 0.2 per month. And courtly vassal opinion minus 5. Okay, it's not the end of the world, but I would like to fix that. We need to fix quite a lot. My uncle has now gained opinion on me. I think we can stop swaying him. Although, why not? Let's sway one more time. We'll get him at 100 opinion. That's never hurt anyone. And we're at 95% war score. So, I think if we just sit here, 60 gold, very nice. Or oh, am my wife's pregnant? If we just sit here to resupply, I think we're naturally going to win the war uh, by itself. Which is a nice, nice casual, just chilling by the river. <laughs> and then we're going to win the war. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> there we go. Uh, maximum effort there. Let's enforce our demands. Greetings, despot Joshua of Valachia. Blessings upon you and your house. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. All right, let's disband the men. We have diplomatic expertise. Diplomacy plus one, thanks to my wife. Thank you very much there. So we now have a chunk of this, which has expanded the Byzantine Empire. Philopopolis, um, <laughs> these guys, uh, have also expanded as well. But that's because the Byzantines took their land. Interesting. Not quite sure what's happened there. Now, we should be able to... Oh, we're well, confudalized. I mean, I can't vote. Isn't that like, yeah, it's 500 gold. Maybe I give this to someone else then. So it becomes their problem. Because we can't really do anything with Golden Hills. I mean, we could give it to a Dynasty member. Why don't we try that? Uh, where am I looking for? Dynasty Vintalasti. Let's go for a sum of all skills. You're already my vassal. What we need to do as well. Actually, we could just see by the flag. Who's this? My cousin and champion, Hanukkah. You are going to be in charge of the Golden Hills. There we go. Let's go ahead and grant you this. I know I could have kept this, but the problem is, is I don't want to be spending the gold to, to convert that. Right, Alexandra, you're going to become my wet nurse. We have a lot of notifications. I'm not employing a court physician anymore. Countess Tamsin, you're going to become my court physician. We have low control and constant... Uh, where, where's Constance? Oh, we took that in the last episode, didn't we? Or the episode before. It, it, it's hard to remember. The days merge into one. Right. Let's improve control over here. <laughs> we'll go down the list. My powerful vassal wants a council position. Are you good at anything? You're good at learning. And Marin, quite frankly, is bloody terrible. So let's go ahead. I can't make you my... Why can I not make you my, my Nassai, my rabbi? Oh, I forgot how to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can shout at me in the comments. Yeah, I can't make you my... Do you have to be zealous or something? No, you are zealous. What's the difference between these fellas? I mean, he's sinful. Nassai, a round priest. No, we already know that. Huh. I I'm not quite sure. Okay, well then I don't have a place for you on my councils, unfortunately. Hepatios, though. You're going to become my, my new Nassai. You you've got a bit more skills. Right, so we, we can ignore this one. Declare, well, we're not going to do that. I can create a duchy. We can't do that. We're too poor. I can offer a hostage. I can demand a hostage from this fella here. I mean, we could do that. Hmm. They would accept her. I can convert her. But to be fair, isn't she already... 
She's already a nun, so I don't think she would actually convert. So let's ignore that one. I can exchange hostages with this fella. He's over here. He's orthodox. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's my hostage. Okay, what if I change? I don't want to give away my children, though. What about one of my daughters? For my nephew. Why are you orthodox? Ah, disgusting. Okay, let's take... Who's your heir? Kutu Karen. Kutu Karen. There he is. We're going to convert him back to Karayism. Okay, that's all good. We can negotiate alliances as well. Don't think we need to bother. Okay, so what's the plan? We need gold. Which means we need building upgrades. Targa Vista is probably the place we want to upgrade this. We do not have manoralism. Ah, and we can't build any of this right because we don't have Burr's innovation. What would we want here? What gives the most gold? Is it the tax offices? Holding taxes plus 15%. Royal reserves though just gives us 0.8. Which is huge. And development growth. Hmm. I'm thinking royal reserves is probably the better one. Which means we need manoralism. <laughs> oh dear, the pronunciation. So where are we for this one? It might be in early medieval manoralism it's down here it's gonna take us 61 years to research okay 61 years but it's gonna boost our economy do i just want to keep sweeping up these ones first of all i mean we got ledger we can get that in 22 months and that gives us another building slot which can give us more money so why don't we do this we're gonna build up targa vista a little bit because we need more income right you're endorsing me that's good that's gonna give us a little bit more income as well uh, you have left my court. Okay. Greetings, despot Joshua Valakia. I must accept your proposal to exchange my son, Kut Karen, and your daughter, Alice, as hostages. Perfect stuff. Right. So when they arrive, we're going to instantly convert you. You want an alliance? No, you don't want an alliance. Okay. Uh, it always pops up, but they, they never really want it. Faction created against Basilea Simeon. The Kazakuzerite populists. Interesting. Okay, my daughter's arrived. You've arrived. Let's go ahead and convert you back to the one true faith. Kutukin. 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 <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, and what's happening here? Oh, there's a lot of stuff happening at the moment, isn't there? I find Kutukin today looking wistful and contemplative, gazing at the people below us. I approach and rest my hand on his slumped shoulder and ask what weighs so heavy on his mind. Oh, uncle, my father is an orthodox and I a Karite. How can I call myself his son when our beliefs are so at odds? I mean, uh, Karaiism is a way. Of course, I'm your uncle. I mean, I actually am, though, am I not? <laughs> to my vassal, as an influential despot, it is only fair that you have a voice of my council. He has given me the position of steward. I have one stewardship. The AI doing a wonderful job as ever. Right, first order target Vista needs a successor. Do we have one? We don't. Okay, let's seek one of those then. We can fix this. Also, my nephew now needs a guardian. He's bloody terrible though, isn't he? Diplomacy and intrigue. Why don't we... Yeah, stick him on intrigue. And then if we go and find him someone, where is it? Do I have a good... Marin? Okay, Marin, you're going to teach my, my nephew here. Okay, I think we're back to normal. Now, you guys said I should go to tournaments. I can't host them because we're too poor. However, if grand tournaments do pop up, I think we will go to them. Because we do have very good prowess. I mean, it's not very good. It's 22. But I think in base game, that's good. 100 gold. That's good. Okay, so can I... I can upgrade the wooden barracks. Yeah, I mean, I can't upgrade this anyway because I need mana realism. <laughs> Bloody hell. I mean, we might as well upgrade this then. But what about Constanta? We're already getting tax here. We can't upgrade this either. Hmm. I mean, should we just upgrade this then? Why not? It gives us extra... I mean, instead of 20% heavy infantry damage, it gives us 40% heavy infantry damage. So let's go ahead and do that. And it reduces the cost for hosting grand tournaments as well. Ah, that's an interesting thing there maybe it is viable for us to host our own tournaments interesting well look at that oh it's a hunt i thought it would be a tournament okay we're gonna dismiss this one all i really want is a grand tournament praise the lord tura is giving birth to a perfect son 
Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Oh, look at that, he's robust as well. And you guys have decided to call him August. Thank you, Flet Reason, for the name suggestion there. You've also decided to go stewardship, so let's go ahead and sort that out. We'll pin the lad there, and then do I have a good steward? Obviously not me, not really. My champion, though, can teach the boy. That's fine. How good is my steward? I mean, Mayor Alexandru, he must already be teaching. No, he doesn't have any wards. Interesting. Huh. Well, I, I don't know what's happened here. Can I not give you August? I do that. You would accept. Why did you not show up in the list then? Hmm, let's do it that way. Maybe I'm blind and I completely missed it. That could be possible. Also, what I want to quickly check is how much a grand tournament would cost with our debuff. Ah, no, we need to wait for it to be this to be built first, don't we? And then we'll get the full effect. I'll be happy to educate your son. Excellent stuff. Okay, so we've got that sorted. What's our next move? I think the tournament's um, building up infrastructure. So my son has arrived there. Oh, he wasn't in my court. Is that what happened? No, he has to be in my court. He's my steward. Oh, he's landed, though. Yeah, he's not in my court because he's landed. He's a mayor. My spy master has come to me with grave news. It is Raya, the daughter of Count Vizislav of Skopje, while he's plotting against my wife. Oh, the spineless fiend. Oh, dear. Can we... I don't know. One of you guys said I should look at see who's involved, but I don't know how to do that. Well, we're going to make another attempt. I don't need to sway him anymore, so that's fine. Who I want to sway is probably Prince Arthur. He's not liking me very much. Bloody hell. Too many window pop-ups. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Well, we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my courtier Alexia this time. Oh, crap. Uh, you can be appointed first sword of a lackier successor. Uh, was it this one? No, 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 no. First sword of Targavista. There we go. Roman, you're going to be the successor for this one. And we were about to check something. You are on disrupt schemes. Okay, interesting. Should I start increasing the development in Targovista? The development is only nine. I think we should start focusing on development and getting that up. It's going to take three years, but that's fine. It lowers our income, but not by too much. The children are once more at play in the courtyard, and today they are engaged with their toy swords. Kutakin seems relentless with the other children, taking several of them at a time and besting them with ease. Among the usual screams of play, my ears suddenly perk up as he screams, Truth over virtue, scum! Wait, is it? Oh, he's not a Vintalasti! Yet yeah, those words are for Vintalasti lips only, my dear child. <laughs> are we getting close to another dynasty pack? No, still 900 or so away. We're getting 2.1 renown per month, though. So what's here? I can offer hostages. I'm not a fan of that. I can declare war on you, although really, I can't. Ducal conquest of county. Ah, but you're very strong. Why are you so strong? You're just strong. Okay, fair enough. And you've got plenty of cavalry, which I don't have currently. Yes, but we could get more men-at-arms, and we can afford them. So if I was to get more men-at-arms, it would probably be the Vakoni. If I don't have buildings to buff them. So let's see. I think we've worked this out, right? So these guys are countered by... They're countered by skirmishers. And skirmishers are up countered by archers. And archers are countered by cavalry. So what would we need against cavalry? We would need spearmen. For both. Yes. <laughs> so my next... My next unit would actually probably be pikemen. But let's wait a little bit. I want to build up our buildings and whatnot first and especially look at a tournament some purple items would be nice 525 that's expensive a truly blessed soul nasi hepatios has become a true example of correct kindness leading this flock with a gentle hand always ready to listen and help the less fortunate souls coming to him for guidance our fervor has increased by 10 our fervor is at 100 percent very nice you've gained traits experience for novice physician uh, and you're pregnant again. Very nice. We're, we're growing the family nice and large at the moment. Greetings, despot Joshua of Alakia. I have heard good things about you. And I am interested in starting a written, written conversation. I hope this letter finds you winning, for I am awaiting your swift reply. Also, I just spilled water all over my desk. Um, it's on my audio mixer. Hopefully, it's still working. I'm not sure. Um, oh, crap. 
this could be this could be game ending for the channel uh, i'm gonna ignore it and check it after the recording oh dear right let's yeah let's start exchanging letters as long as we speak about diplomacy we both like diplomacy it should be fine my spy master has come to me with grave news he is certain that despotisa tura my own wife is scheming against my courtier alexia <gasps> no why oh i have to throw her in jail all of her family lose opinion of me i can't accuse her though she's my wife she likes me as well. Yeah, I, I can't accuse my own wife. Well, we can't have a scandal like that going. The realm would be thrown into chaos. I can't imprison her. However, I'm going to pardon her. I think it was all a misunderstanding. She's just a little bit stressed. Thank you for your swift response. I am looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject for us to discuss. I think we should discuss the finer points of etiquette. I am a diplomatic fellow, as are yourself. I was pleased to see how invested you are in your passions. Your last letter definitely proves your skill in them. Since you have indulged me so, I must ask if there is anything I can do for you. Uh, I only wish to keep exchanging letters. We gain 300 lifestyle experience and got a new perk. Very nice. Uh, I've arrived in Targa Vista to pay homage. Okay, Pizza, welcome in. He's brought me a gift of 50 gold. That's how we gain renown. And now we can unlock a, a new perk as well. We were going for forced vassalage. You are able to use the forced vassalization casus belli. It's a casus belli allowing for the forceful vassalization of a neighboring independent ruler of lower rank. Unlocked by the forced vassalage perk. You can vassalize any ruler that does not have more than three counties in the realm. We should have a few people that we can target with this. So let's go ahead and unlock that. Uh, and yes, suddenly we can declare a fair few more wars. Including this fella. Only 800 manpower. They do have some allies. But they don't have many men at arms. Where are you? You're all the way up there. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna cause some border gore, isn't it? What about you? You are over in the west. <laughs> are you guys part of the Byzantine Empire, though? If I zoom out, you're not, and neither are you. Oh well, we do have the Byzantine Empire up here. I mean, why not? I can force them to become a vassal. That sounds worth it, does it not? We have gold. We could support a wall. We're waiting for this to be built before we can host a tournament. Also, the water is bloody everywhere. <laughs> Luckily, I have somewhere to put my mouse. Right. I think we do it. Uh, we have an opportune moment. So these guys... 1,200. They don't have Bowman at all. So let's go ahead and force vassalization of them. We have the prestige. So I'm happy enough to, to partake on this mission. Let's go ahead and raise the men. I think Peter. Peter is already leading an army. Okay. Organizer. Army movement speed is probably going to be very useful. Because they are quite a ways away up here. And we're going to go straight for their capital. We're definitely going to be marching. My glory is widely known. I am now illustrious. Secular opinion plus 10. A number of knights plus 2. We're already struggling to fill up our knight positions though. You're increasing control. Can I just put you on organize army for a moment? I don't want to be lo losing my gold unnecessarily. My son Lucas, along with Solomon and Gida, has been invited to a gathering of pe peers by Count Tissimir. They are packed and ready and clearly excited to leave. Um, very well, why not? You need to make friends. One day you will be rulers, possibly. And it's very important to have allies and friends who you can rely on. Right, there we go. I had to quickly tab out. Prince Archer's gained opinion. I mean, nice. Despotiza Tura bursts into my room, fuming like a pot of boil. The heat coming off her is slightly intimidating. This is unacceptable. The way she... Ah, Sib Slaver is such a fool. Tura motions furiously with her arms. Can't she do something? It is clear that something has gone down. I need to tread carefully. Aren't you my... Yeah, you're also my wife. Calm down, woman. I think... There we go. They improved their relationship. Let's all get on and work together as a team. We have enemies outside of the borders. We don't need enemies within as well. Although we probably do have some people. Uh, designate a guardian for Gida. Gida, what are you good at? You seem to be very good at stewardship and learning. You're focused on learning though. Okay. Countess Tamsin, my court physician. You're going to teach Gida the ways of learning. Hopefully 
that can be of use to us in the future. I haven't seen their armies yet. There are armies here, though. There's a, another war going on. What's this? Everything's happening. Okay, Solomon. <laughs> what are you going to... You're focusing on intrigue, right? Marin, you're going to teach him the ways of intrigue. And I think we're good. There, there's so many things here. It's so many. It's so easy to miss something. But the education ones are the, the important ones, of course. With a tired, a blissful smile. Elisa Vita presents me with two perfect children. I've got a, a daughter and a son that twins. And you guys have decided to call them Zelia and Zyro. Thank you, Tarvin, for the name suggestions there. May you grow to be strong and wise, my children. What I also need to do is find them uh, and pin them so we can keep track of them. Oh dear, look at this. We we've got nine children already. They're really starting to, to fly out now, aren't they? That's what happens when you have four wives. Is this a grand tournament? No, only a hunt. Okay, I think we're going to have to host a tournament. Four months to siege this. That's not too shabby. Do we have siege equipment? Ah, we do. You know what it is? I was streaming Elder Kings yesterday, uh, and I'm not used to having siege equipment suddenly. Organized service, holding taxes plus 5% for five years. That is going to be useful. We got some more stuff popping up here. Just hostages. Okay, we don't need to worry about that then. 14 days left on the siege. Hopefully, this will come to a very quick conclusion. Um, alas, it is not, but we do have 19 gold at least. Supply is running low, but we don't have enough. Yeah, we're, we're over the supply limit anyway. If we very quickly take this, I think that's part of the war target. If we can quickly take this one, we can split our army and then resupply. That's the plan. Children have returned, and we've now built a levy in ground. So after this war, we shall check how much a grand tournament will cost us to host. The courtyard is filled with the familiar sounds of running and screaming. As the children of court partake in their play, despite the noise, it is oddly peaceful until the plain shrieks of Kutakin summon me to intervene. Stop it! Stop it, Joshua! Sigurd keeps hitting me! <laughs> Sigurd, <laughs> my son and heir, stop being a bully. Oh dear. I should encourage Kutkin to defend himself. Uh, do you know what I'm Sigurd? Let's see. Sigurd loses opinion of me. Yeah, but son, you, you can't be a bully. You're supposed to be king of this land one day. You need to learn to treat your subjects with just a little bit of respect. Not too much, but just enough so they don't rebel against you. My lad. Prince Art has gained opinion on me. Okay, very nice. That was quick. So now, let's improve relations. Why Why is Hepatios not liking me? Should we start improving... Yeah, let's start improving Hepatios' opinion. Minus 15. Ah, because we're callous and we're zealous. But he's also a drunkard. So, uh, we, we get drunk with each other in the nights. And he's got increased opinion with me because of that. Let's share a, a cup of mead. Or whatnot. Right, 21 days on this. That suddenly jumped up quite a lot, didn't it? Will it give us the war victory? No. But I have seized Chief Despolis Slover's Battle Axe. That's going to give me more prowess. Oh, but this gives me more prowess. That's, that's four prowess. Whereas this one's only two prowess. So let's destroy this one. We get a little bit of gold. Uh, we're going to have to repair some artifacts soon. Lucas... You need a guardian as well. Oh, look at your stats. You're focusing on intrigue, I see. Although you could go any way. I mean, diplomacy, intrigue, learning. Here it says intrigue and diplomacy. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, if I... My wife here, she's very good at diplomacy and she's a genius. Lucas, I'm going to have you switch your focus to diplomacy. And you should be a very, very good diplomat one day. If only you were my heir, but alas, you are not. Sigurd's not looking bad, though. I mean, oh, Sigurd's a genius, too. And he's focusing on stewardship, although... Martial and Intrigue is better. Maybe we should go to, to Intrigue. I'm sure he'll be fine. We'll, we'll keep focusing him on stewardship. We need the gold. Right. We're out of supplies. We also need supplies. Let's just split the army in half quickly. Then if I find the second army, we can move them up there. Uh, I just need to spend a few months resupplying before we move on with the war effort. Are we resupplying now? Yeah, plus 20. Plus 20. Okay, beautiful stuff. Just need to get rid of these debuffs. Spouse's skills. We have major diplomatic expertise. Diplomacy plus two. 
Our oh, diplomacy is now 19. Amazing stuff. My cousin Chieftain Andre has honored me with a visit and has brought one of his courtiers along. Andre approaches me excitedly. Well met, Despot Joshua. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Targa Vista. It occurred to me that Vasily here might be of service in your court. He is an incredibly talented strategist. His mind is always spinning out possible tactics. I would make use of him myself, but alas, it doesn't seem possible. I would hate to see his great talent to go to waste. Won't you take him and unleash his potential? Let's see, do I have room for you? Oh, you are a very good marshal. But the problem is... I mean, Lionel doesn't like me in a way. I could do with a Bella Marshall. Do you know what? I know just the place for him. Yes, join my court. Lionel, you refused to bend the knee at one point. I, I haven't forgotten this. And now Vassal, Vassali. There you go, wrong one. <laughs> Although Grigal's even better. Oh, dear. Yes. If we don't care about powerful vassals, Grigor, you're going to become my, my marshal. I'm sorry, Lionel. Um, that's what happens when your loyalties obviously aren't to, to the crown. Right, let's ignore those for a moment. We are resupplying. Let's just get rid of this undersupplied penalty. Demand artifact. To my leader, something that should legitimately belong to me. Relinquish it at once. No, it's mine. Faction to install David on the Valachian throne is kicking off again. Ah, uh, these are problematic. <laughs> um, that's why you don't land your, your dynasty members. Another hunt, guys. Stop with the hunt. You're killing me. I, I, I need more. We, we gained 75 prestige thanks to the wife. Right, we are replenished. We should have one more castle over here. And then once we take this, I believe we win the war. We are supplied now, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it, it's very hard, you know, since playing Hearts of Iron 4 recently, I, I am now obsessed with looking after supply, whereas before that wasn't the case. We have now discovered Ledger, which means we should get plus one building slots, I think. A commoner of Greek heritage has been accosted in the streets of Targovista over some minor offence. By making a statement in their defence, I could perhaps convince my nasty Hippopatios, the equally Greek of my good character, but I might risk alienating my black peers. Nope. Vlax are superior in every way, shape, and form. Oh, now the Liberty Faction's coming. The smell hits me before the door's opened. A heavy and meaty odor that permeates the area. It is the stench of the newly dead. Another murder, my lord. Countess Tamsin wipes her bloody hands on an apron as she stands up after looking over the body. We must stop this senseless killer. It's my wife. It's my wife. Oh, I'm callous. Yes. Um, let's bury the body and forget this. Well, let's just carry on. As long as we're not murdered, that's all that matters. And I, I kind of already know who it is. We just unlocked mangonels as well. Okay, so we now have building slots plus one. And mangonels? Where's mangonels? That's onagers. Onagers. Uh, mangonels are here. Or are we now focusing on mangonels? Is that what it meant? Possibly. We're being exposed to this. Um, can use individual does your county cast a spell -y. The main limit plus one. We don't really need that. This is done in 10 years. So why don't we just knock this one out? And then we can knock this one out. And then we're done with tribal fully before we move on. Although I really want manneralism. 61 years. I feel like we should just start focusing on this. Although, how important is this? Does your county cast a spelly? Could be useful, actually. Uh, no, I'm going to go in manneralism. Okay, let's focus on manneralism. Uh, we want this, right? How long left on the siege? Four months. <laughs> let's get back to it. Never mind. Someone's just popped up in my court. Uh, and now this event's popped up as well. It's all happening. Out to the courtyard, Kutkin and Solomon are happy at play, as all children should be. Among the usual chirps and rustling of the Lord's creation are the happy laughs of children and the world seems as it should. In my moment of peace, I even hear Solomon offhandedly call Kutakim brother. How wonderful. Right, who's in my court? This is Prince Arta, my uncle. Okay. The pageantry of court continues day after day from dawn to dusk. Kumara extemporizes on my greatness, spouting platitudes and praises. 
Nearby, Prince Arthur joins in, playing to the crowd, grinning stupidly and expecting a sign of my favour for his antiques. A deep, insistent desire to call for my wine and lose myself in it slowly builds, gnawing at my mind and distracting my attention. A lone bead of sweat trickles interminably down my brow. <laughs> uh, Kumara noticed my distance, inquiring, Are you alright, my lord? With almost genuine concern. Forgive me, I have other business to tend to. I must go to the tavern. Yeah, but I can't be dealing with this fighting for my attention. The realm's at war, you know, it's... Grow up, lads, grow up. You know, we're, we're grown men. We're, we're the king, kingdom of Valachia. Uh, and you, you're you playing these petty games. I don't have time for it. Right, two months left on the siege. We're going to get this done. Uh, 50 days left now. We've managed to sway my Manassai, which is nice. Lately, I've been pondering the education of my son, Sigurd. Is stewardship really the appropriate direction? Does the game listen to you? Huh. Since being trained in diplomacy myself, I have found that particular knowledge to serve me well. Surely it would do the same for him. Uh. No, I think a varying skill set is only beneficial. We have taken note that the realm does need to increase its riches. If we want a bigger army, we need more gold. So Sigurd, uh, we're going to shape him in that way. Right, we've won the war. Let's enforce the demands. To my liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to its bloodshed, I will complain with the man. So be it. Right, why can I not disband the, the armies? Zero armies can be disbanded. Son, my son has learned the East Slavic language. That's a grand tournament. Nice. I think it's because of this bloody army over here. Can I just move over here and then disband them quickly? Yes, right. Let's disband the armies. Uh, what we also need to do... Is get this control up over here, don't we? So let's increase the control. And then we have a grand tournament to uh, leave for. We need to leave in 10 days. Right, I'm going to save that one for the next episode. Because sadly, that's all I have time for today. So in the next one, we're going to go to this tournament. Where are you? Super close, actually. That's not far away at all. Yeah. I think we can make that in time as long as we don't get distracted on the way. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you next time.